All right, so then I'm playing Touch Fighter. It's a 2D. Well, it's on a 2D plane, but it's a 3D fighting game. It's made by um, Wii Me or Wii Me or whatever. So um, it's a Korean game, and you need a Kakao Talk account to actually log in and play the game. Um, the app for Kakao Talk is in English. It might be pronounced Kakao. I don't know. It's Korean. Anyway, the app is in English, so you can easily go on and make an account and then just download this game and play it. It doesn't get blocked in the um, Play Store at all, so um, I'm guessing it's region free. Um, you can see here there's like these little hearts. These are your, basically your stamina meter. Be meter. Um, you can play. What is that? Like eight matches or whatever before you know it refills. But they refill one every ten minutes, and if you're playing good, I mean, you really don't run out. You know, I mean, you can buy more if you want to or something, but you don't, you don't have to. Um, I'm not sure what all the menus are because it's in Korean, obviously, so I'm still, like, poking around. Um, here's the option menu. You can turn off different things. Um, I think the top one turns off the character models for, like, a simplified um, character select screen. Um, I'm not really sure what the rest does. I'm wondering if there's one that makes the HUD smaller because right now the D-pad is just too big. It's like it takes up most of the left side of the screen and you have to navigate around it and sometimes it's hard to like, you know, to do some moves because, you know, you have so much space to move with. But, um, I'll just go to practice mode real quick just to show a couple characters. This is the character I use the most. Um, I forgot her name, but she's some kind of fox girl. Um, this is their main character, I assume. You know, the Ryu type character. Um, I'll show him first. His moves are pretty easy. The grapple character. It's like this little fairy girl. This is a singer, Athena type character. This is the American character. Um, I really don't know what his fighting style is, but he doesn't box, so I have to give him points for doing that. And this is the only character who doesn't have individual fingers. Um, she's from China, I guess. And um, I don't know what her fighting style is, but she kicks a lot, so I don't know. Yeah, I'll just beat her up for now. Let's um, go to the practice mode. It has your standard practice mode option of um, seeing your moves. Um, I don't know if there's a way to set the dummy to actually do something. Her name's Zui Chin or Zhu Chin or something. This is King Haru or Kong Haru, I think is how they say it. So, um, it's the basic moves you can do. I'm not sure what the up S does. Or maybe that means jumping S or something. But I'll figure out eventually. You can do down attacks, you know, hit them when they're on the ground. I'm not really sure how you're doing, though. I and mean, you would think it would be something simple like down and B or something, but it's not. I've been kind of fumbling with that lately. Okay, that's a super. Maybe it's down forward. Nope. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, it's down forward A. Okay. Well, I'm glad I came into practice mode just to get that. Um, everyone has a basic um, A-A-A-B combo. Or an A-A-A down B is the kick. Uh, fireball is usually around the four A if they have a fireball. This guy is a lot of his moves in. I think there's a third hit for that. You know, as a main character, you know, he has to be kind of strong, you know, show the game off. Nah. He did it the first time easy. Yeah, his combos link up. And the specials are all done with the S key. Holding the S does like a stun. Um... Some people have a two hit with S they can do. But well, usually you can like do a little stun and sometimes grab them if you're close enough. Let's see. 
all the special moves are usually down SS1, it's usually projectile, um, have quarter circle back and or quarter circle back does another one and quarter circle forward does the other one. And I think his, um, his two quarter circles can connect. Yeah. Yeah, see, a lot of his moves link together. He's like, oh, he's a good character. But, you know, they probably make the main guy real good. See, that's one combo right there. It does that much damage with this guy. You can air tech somehow. I think it's just S forward or back in the air, but most of the time they're not getting out of that combo. Okay, the, um, aside from that mode, there's um, there's the arcade mode, which is it's like arcade survival. Like you fight five guys in a row, then you move on to the next round, and it's five more. And as you progress, the characters are higher level and they fight a little better sometimes. Then there's a time trial that's set, um, I think it's pretty much the same way. I haven't really messed with time trial that much. And then World League, I assume, is multiplayer. You see um, everyone's face and stuff like that. You can see how much points they have. Um, I have not got this mode to work yet. I mean, it's showing my ping is 83 milliseconds. I click, I assume this is the button. I actually start it, and it never does anything. It'll just sit there for like 10 minutes or whatever. But, yeah, I usually just exit out after waiting a little while. And I'm not going to do that here because that's just a waste of time. But, I'm not sure what this check mark up here does either. Anyway, you can like click a different character over here, and you can um, see. Like their items, like you can wear gear and stuff like that. And this is your inventory. I don't have anything right now. This is a store. It's like potions and stuff and extra time, I assume, for time trial. And you can buy potions. They're um, I mean, it seems weird to have potions in a fighting game, but if you're fighting five characters at a time and you know you're losing health every time, like that's what that's for. I do not know what this eraser is for. Maybe it's some kind of skill reset. The hearts or stars, they're for um they're to buy, I think, to refill the heart meter. And there's um you you can earn those though by just playing, so there's no worry. I only have one right now though. Okay, I'll go to the shop for not the shop, but the level up. You can do this before a match as well, but this is just a standard way to get there. You um, you can increase your as soon as punch attacks and then kick attacks. You can do that with the regular in-game currency, which comes pretty regularly. Um, here you see like different costumes you can wear. You can preview them. Um, I want to get this one. It just reminds me of Evangelion, so. Probably should get the red one for Oscar, but anyway, you can see different costumes. Every character has, um, you know, multiple costumes they can get. And um, leveling the costume um, it increases your health and defense. But um, yeah, I haven't really messed with the shop a whole lot because I'm just trying to see how far I can get without spending anything. What I do in pretty much every free game. Okay, I'm on stage two. So I pretty much just started playing. Yeah, get him out the way first, because I do not want to fight a level 6 version of that guy. Playing this mode, just it gives you the um, regular gold, and so you can, like, even if you don't get far, you'll still get enough to, you know, strengthen your character a little bit. Wow, that's crazy lag all of a sudden there. Alright. side today oh yeah when you're rising up you can do a low kick or a high kick
I think he was trying to do some kind of counter. I am not off to a good start. So now from here, you get like a little health back. Um, I have a little over half, so I'm not going to bother using a potion. I should be okay to beat the next guy. But depending on how this goes, I might use a potion. Wow, he wants to get close. No, I should have did super. Oops. Oh yeah, everyone has a launcher too that's down for um, B. Oh yeah, down, down makes you dodge. I'm gonna stay away from him for the rest of this, maybe chip him out. Okay, I'm still in okay shape for the next fight, I think. Oh, maybe not. I better use a potion. Oh, what the hell is he wearing? I like her because both her supers, well, two of her supers are grabs. So, like, even if they're blocking, you can sometimes pop a super out and get them. That's what I mean about the D-pad being too big. It's like, I think I traced the whole move, but I don't. Try not to talk too much because this is actually kind of hard in a way. I mean, maybe if the controls were a little more exact, it wouldn't be so hard, but yeah. Okay, I want to beat this, so I'm going to use a potion. Okay, she's going to run up on me. Desperation super oh wait. Oh man. Oh well. Oh that's a basic game. Would have been nice to have won that, but whatever. I'll um go at it again after this, but that's for another video.